Hello YouTube, my name is Dakota and welcome to Bowtide Media and we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that, say with me, came out this week in EDM, as simple as that. Songs that came out this past week, there's 19 songs, I wanted to highlight 19 songs. And uh, we're starting off um, with the bad category. Uh, this is a pretty good week because there's only one song in bad. Like, woo, that's a pretty good week if only one song is anything above that. So personally, again, just my opinion, remember that. Uh, it is sadly, though, Pursuit of Violence uh, with Sullivan King and Sudden Death. Uh, the Thrones of Blood LP was a little all over the board for me. There were some tracks that I thought were standouts and some that I thought were very not great. And uh, this just fall to, it fell into the category of one that wasn't really for me. And so I recognize the song, the song track isn't really for me. Personally, I'm not this kind of rhythm, rhythm kind of guy. Uh, I've, I feel like the mixing is a little too linear for a very dynamic track that it already is. And ultimately, I didn't really like the melody line and the sound of that synth on that melody line. Um, I can be all in for rocking kind of metal tracks, but this one is, is sadly just not for me. As we head into the meh category, songs that I thought are meh. Uh, we've got Paradise by Flux Pavilion. Uh, great production and mixing, but the synth line, again here, is uh, sort of annoying and never really strays away from that same repetitive hook. And so it makes the track just overall feel a little... Uh, annoying is really the best way I would put it. Uncomfortable, maybe even. Uh, yeah, not something I think I'm gonna revisit, even though it's not. Uh, it's not. It's not bad. Then we've got "Say My Name" by Britt Laurie. Uh, this is possibly the most radio-friendly Monster Cat track we've ever had. Uh, that being said, this didn't really do it for me. I'm not, and I wouldn't say it's not inherently inherently bad track. It just didn't really do anything. And with just over two minutes and the kind of repetitive vocal chorus over and over again, I just yeah. Okay, okay. And then we've got Dreams by Griffin. Uh, this again, kind of a boring track that uh, is supposed to be this really uplifting one, but lands a little bit too cheesy for me. Uh, again, not really into this track, but it's not really bad. It's just sort of nothing. That's kind of meh for me personally. Songs that really don't do a ton for me one way or another just feel very down the middle. Uh, and speaking of that, we've got Meant to Be Lonely by Ray Volpe featuring Donatella. Uh, Ray Volpe is taking on a melodic sound of dubstep this time around. And while I think it's better than most Delo mellow dub tracks, I still think it suffers from the same uh, kind of classic mellow dub tropes and song structure. And so uh, I do think it's better than most mellow dub, but uh, I think it's just, just going to be meh for me here. Then we've got Better by Rome in Silver. The first single from a debut LP is out now, and uh, it's drum and bass, uh, which is fairly new territory for Rome and Silver, although it's a fusion of a bunch of different genres, but predominantly would land within the overarching genre of uh, drum and bass. Uh, it's a cruising track with a strong electric guitar lead with a bit of a kind of country twang to that guitar. Uh, it feels like you're kind of driving down a California highway with an ocean view, like, you know, when you class, even if you don't live in the States and or America or even North America, you kind of know those Hollywood shots of like someone like high up on the road kind of driving you can see the, the either the sunset or the sun or it's a nice sunny day and you can see the the ocean from for miles or kilometers um but uh yeah that's that's reminds me of this track then we've got Baby Again by Fred Again, Skrillex, and Fortet. Uh, old school house with the kind of long movements and constant beat. Uh, the vocals I thought were honestly pretty crap here. I thought they did not lend itself well to the song. Um, and yeah, you know, sonically, there wasn't really a ton going on for me personally, uh, but that it's not, it's not a bad track. I just, I, it would be a lot better if I didn't have those vocals personally or just different vocals. And moving into the good category, we got so much of the percentage of this week is good. A lot of good songs came out personally, in my, in my opinion. Uh, we've got Shady Intentions, the VIP, originally by Nightmare and Zed's Dead, featuring Tori Lovett. Um, yo, th this is pretty solid uh, compared to the original, which doesn't feel a ton different from the original, but this feels way better. The, I don't know, everything about it just feels like it honors both styles of Nightmare and Zed's Dead. That isn't a snooze fest of a melody that the original had. I, I don't know why this isn't the original. This sounds much better. It sounds cleaner. It sounds way more polished, I would say. Then we've got Sandstorm by Ramesses B. Uh, have you ever wanted to hear uh, Druid Sandstorm, but in drum and bass? Well, here you go. Uh, it's got good energy maxing, matching that of the original, and uh, while not really changing the tone of the track a ton, uh, it does keep the energy that Sandstorm obviously brings, its iconic energy. And I really love that uh, Ramesses B didn't really play with that iconic melody line. Uh, he kind of put it in, slotted it in, and didn't change it at all, really. Not the pitch, not the tempo, not anything. And I think that really lent itself uh, well to what this track was trying to be um, and did. So 
Then we've got Rosa by Otto Nose. Uh, this sounds exactly like a Fred Again track, like totally. The beat, the vocals, even the title being the name of <laughs> someone. Uh, similarly to Fred Again though, this is kind of a chill house track with um, not a too much going on, but still a nice kind of vibe and one just gonna, mm -hmm, yeah, that's it. So uh, Rosa Solid. Then we've got Give It To Me by, oh my gosh, uh, Sequa and Tasaki. I want to say I have no idea how to say that. Uh, this is a very fun, carefree track with a kind of trap slash uh, Moomba hybrid. And it doesn't really take itself too seriously, which is uh, part of the it being kind of fun and carefree. Uh, the vocal samples keep the energy going and the constant beat switches keep it interesting. And um, I really like this one. And I haven't been the hugest Tasaki fan in the past, so... Uh, speaking of not being the hugest fan in, of something in the past, we've got Murata's Resurgence. Uh, this is truly a destructive track that, uh, you know, I'm starting to get into Murata. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to understand the uh, the, the brilliance of Murata, I would say. Uh, it's quick and dirty, and I particularly love the fake outs here before the drops. Uh, I'm not normally into this kind of rhythm, but uh, this is definitely uh, the best of it out there. Then we've got Bright Lights by KX5 featuring R. Co. Uh, the KX5 album is out now, uh, which is the Dead Mouse and Cascade collaboration alias. Um, this is like prog house, but with a slap house bass line. Uh, that is a kind of, I would say, unique take on house while still being like a weird fusion of both. It's, it's very interesting, and I thought it worked pretty well, personally. I'm excited to dive into this record more, which I will, doing literally, I will be doing literally after recording this, uh, per, because I'm going to be giving it a proper review soon. So... Uh, uh, that's Bright Lights. Then we've got Diving In by Stonebank. Uh, diving into the second round of Future Rave from Stonebank here. And well, I would say it's not as strong as Good For Me was. I still really like uh, that he takes this kind of commercial sound that has been popularized by David Guetta and Morton and uh, making a, just making it, giving it the quality that a more niche artist like Stonebank would have. And I know Stonebank isn't that niche, but I think you kind of know what I mean, where it's, he's not as commercial as David Guetta would be. Um, a little bit more on the bland side for Stonebank comparatively, but uh, still solid. Then we've got Hypnotic by Eddie featuring, uh, I've never known how to say this. Is it fucking sad? Fucking Sid? Yeah, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, but uh, yeah, the, uh, oh gosh, Onzaker Craft Volume 1 EP is out. And I uh, really like the dark tonality from Eddie on this whole EP. Um, I gave it a once over so far, but uh, the vocals on this track in particular feel a little out of place with the tonality of the rest of the song, particularly the whole EP, but uh, overall a great track. Now we've got Killing Me by Aluna and Tasha. Uh, this is your kind of classic deep house sound from Aluna with stellar production, that kind of meaty bass line, and with her just absolutely great vocals. Uh, just solid Aluna. Then we've got Unconditional by Mr. Fiji Ouija. Fiji has been killing it with these last couple tracks. Uh, some of his best vocal chops, I would say he's got in a long time here on this track. Um, kind of also a soloing style of kind of the backdrop, uh, the last drop feels like a, a solo of some sort where you kind of hear from like a, a haywire or a glacier. It is, it is great. Um, this is trip hop at its finest for sure. And our penultimate track of the week is To Be Yours by Odessa featuring Claude. Uh, this feels like a mix of Better Now and uh, Forgive Me from the uh, the Last Goodbye album. And uh, man, this is just like a better version of both of those, I would say. Uh, this would have been one of my top songs on the album for sure if it made it onto the album. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just clean and polished and it feels like uh, that kind of newer sound of Odessa all wrapped in one track. And I feel Feel like this is a great kind of all-encompassing track for what the whole album was the last goodbye so uh huge huge fan of this and our top track of the week is a standout track a standout uh here we go we've got bittersweet Butterflies by Chime. Uh, a very long third single from an upcoming album of Chimes. Uh, this is a six and a half minute, uh, predominantly electro house track that uh, is quite different from the color base we've heard from the, at least the first two projects or first two songs. And uh, I guess Chime as a whole recently, we've been hearing a lot more color base, but uh, love so much about this track. Uh, the multi-layered movements, the different styles throughout, the sound design here, it's like a kind of a throwback to an older style and uh, era as well. I, I I just think this is a absolutely solid track and deserves to be in standout this week. But uh, that has been it for this week in EDM. As always, there is a Spotify link down below for all the tracks in order. Just make sure you sort by recently added. And I'd uh, love to hear what you think. Any and all tracks here on this, uh, this, this week. But uh, other than that, I'm Ben Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.